continue. Welcome to Shadow of Judgment, everybody. We still got fire and water left. So, we're going to get to see who's the next victim. Or whatever, you know. Take it how you want. Anyway, this is for the week of the 20th. Or no, the 14th to the 20th, because I forgot to do this yesterday, because I wasn't thinking. Right. Right. Anyway, let's see what is up with everybody. <laughs> well, we already did Earth, but the wands came out. So it's kind of like somebody was victorious, they placed some shit on their head, and then later on they became a teacher. So fire signs. You're up, so... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please check your charts. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. Just a card game. Shit might not work if you don't believe in it, or maybe it will. It's really up to you. Just boop your nose and away it goes. There it goes. Alright. So, Aries, you're up first as always. It's going like your shadow. People are getting taken to heaven. So I guess that is Ruby. And shit's getting packed up because they didn't have enough business at the bazaar. The bazaar is over. There is somebody trying to create something with their magic though. But over here someone is like, okay, does someone watch somebody go to heaven? Or leave everything behind? It called up for a higher good or whatever. Mmm. Queen of Wands. That black cat's trying to talk some nonsense into her. But the lizard's dead. Stop it. Oh, God. Someone's trying to manifest a fucking gnome. <laughs> Just to treat him horribly. Like, tempt him with, like, a little coin. Just be like, here you go, little buddy. Don't don't worry, this isn't a trap, you know? Like, it tr it's all trusting and shit just walking up to you. Or someone's looking at that you. Or, god damn it. Or someone's looking at you that way, Aries. Thinking that, like, um... You're fucking known where they don't have to give you very much or treat you very well. But I feel like this is you doing this to somebody else. Or it could be an earth sign. One of the two. Now, you over here... With your pet ram, you're just like this is us. We are the rams, or or as that goes. I don't know. It's one of the two. Anyway, ooh, this person just took off, going on a dark, deadly adventure, trying to bear the lizard. Ooh. You're having that Aries at all like no no you're not no you are fucking not okay Aries so for your shadow this week some judgment call was already made and those who are supposed to ascend have been chosen and everybody else is just like there right in a sense like not literally more like metaphorically if you will think of it in that way and here you are sitting on your throne and you got like a pet ram, right? And it's just like, fuck yeah, I got a ram. I named the Billy Bob, you know? And, <laughs> and there's this magician up here who's trying to, I think, manifest you or somebody else so they can like give them very, very little. They think that like they're ignorant or something, right? And they can just give them like a shiny gold coin and that should be enough to birth something new. Give them a pet lizard to start um, growing, right? The problem with is, Aries, I think you see it, and I think you will attack that shit before like it gets very far. Like, you're about to get this person in a jugular. Meanwhile, over here... Someone's packed up the bazaar. Like, they didn't make enough to stake around. And, like... Somebody's influencing this Queen of Wands over here to just 
take off without any real notice. And this could be you too, but I don't think it is, because this is like pretty abrupt. You're over here on your throat, and you're about to cut throat, right? At least you want to cut throat instead of start something new. But this person's leaving, and it feels like there's like a decision that's being made while somebody else is in the background completely blind and like they handed the swords off but like it's still like they're unaware of like the battle that's actually going on and it's kind of like they want to walk away because they don't want to get in this chaos you want to approach it in order to um seek some vengeance somewhere and in between that is just like being able to start something different staying where you are we're moving along. You know, door has been closed in someone's face, or something's over between two people, and somebody can't rest because of it. Like, something ended up really fucky. Something to do with a Queen of Pentacles and the Judgment Call. Overbearing mother, unfaithful spouse, shit like that. Something could get resurrected, but I don't know, because they were all already called up. Yeah, or some judgment call in order to end all this fighting. Between you, possibly, and some, like, uh, uh, this guy. This idiot. Like, still trying to offer nonsense towards the chaos. It's like they want to keep the chaos going. But they're too incompetent to figure out that that's what they're doing. Or they pretend to act like they don't know what they're doing, when in reality they're just doing very minimal to, uh... Fix the shit, Aries. But, that's your shadow for the week, so pay very close attention to, uh, what's going on around you. Because I feel like you're a little bit hostile about how somebody might, uh... got away. It seems like that other person has to leave somebody behind. This queen of wands, in a sense, I feel like. Oh my god. Okay. Leo, it's your turn. Let's see. What is your shadow this week? Neo. Um, you just said fuck it and you're drinking out your own cup. You're just like, I'm just gonna go to this waterfall and like do whatever. Like, I might even drink the wine I'm supposed to deliver. Might be an earth sign you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who takes their pentacle and rubs it on their bison because that's their pet and that's how they love them. <laughs> also gonna be doing that on purpose to cause you to want to reject that pentacle too. Yeah! Um... Yeah! Like, it's like you're drinking your own cup, because if you try to offer something to this person, they're just gonna, like, act like it's not a big deal, or it's not worth anything. It's like you're trying to reach out to give them all that you have, and they just take it and be like, oh, well, this is good enough for my animal, it's not good enough for me. One, those things, like... Mm, you're gonna get out of your own cup, because no matter what you give this person, they're never happy with it. They're just like, I'm satisfied on my own, go away. All this food is shit anyway. You know? You might want to help this person while they're trying to rest. But it's like every time you're looked at and judged with every offer you make. Hmm. Yeah. I don't blame you, Leo. It's like, what's, yeah, what's the point? <laughs> like every time you try to do something nice for this person, they just tug your shit down, man. In the lover's situation, someone needs to make one choice or the other. They either need to choose to share what they fucking have, or someone's just gonna bathe their own damn selves. Like, fuck it. Like, shit needs to flow through with communication before anything like this can happen. Leo, you're drinking out of your own cup, trying to swallow down all this shit that people keep giving you. It's like you could give this person, um, as much as they ask for it, but they act like they don't want it. Even though, like, they get mad if you don't give it to them. You're trying to send them some sort of, like, peace signal. Be like, hey, like, this is my bird. Take it. And you're trying to cause them to, like, understand you're giving them an apple bean. Huh? 
We ha my husband said you have to feed the bird when it's hungry. But this is like a really... Oh, Trailer Park Boys? I didn't even think about how ridiculous that, served, that sounded, but that works, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like, um... It's like, you could send this bird to somebody, try to talk to him, but it's a fucking bird. But it's an offering, nonetheless. Now, every time you try to offer something, it's looked at like it's a bad thing. And this person tries to tear apart your flag. It's a big-ass flag, and it's the flag that makes you happiest, right? And it's just like, they just want to do it to be a dick. Um, that's the only clear communication you're getting between the two of you. Like, this bitch is, like, letting this water fall on the ground while you bathe yourself in this water trying to, uh, refresh yourself. Now, this king of pentacles up here, he either feels like you owe him something, but he feels, uh, but he also feels obligated to make you feel like you need to suffer. He's one of those people who, like, um... They give you impossible things to do. Like, I want you to go to the car wash and give this a wash, like, 87 fucking times. And I know if you're going to do it right or not. And you're just like, won't that, like, scratch off the paint at some point? They're just like, I don't care. So you only wash it, like, as many times as they tell you. And then, like, they come back and be like, you know what? You should have washed this more. You should have known better. And you're just sitting there like, why did you ask me to do something if you're just going to sit there and, like, be a dick about it? Like... Do you not appreciate me or something? Like, you come over and even make sure that this person's okay a lot of the times. But in the end, it's like, you're like Olga. You're dragging all your shit behind you while this person's, like, begging you to stick around. And that's only because, you know, they get pleasure out of driving you fucking insane, I feel like. Or just pissing you off because no matter how much you give them, it's never enough. It's like, they're never satisfied. Which is never good to be around the person. Like, it'd be one thing if they, if you were, like, doing something. But it's like, hmm. Why are you making noises? Phone. Oh, okay. That's fine. Anyway. Um... There's a lot of missed opportunities and, like, regrets with you and this person. Yeah, I think you're regretting, like, letting your happiness go by because, like, you were too worried about them. You're sad about that, and that's a hard thing to get over. It's just like, man, I cared. I did all the right things. At least I thought I did. But you're really in your feelings about how things just didn't work out between the two of you, right? You're still looking for a reason to stick around, though. But it's like, everything's kind of wonky. It didn't end right. Like, there's, like, incomplete status. But you're going to Rome once again. On the Rome again. Alright, that was yours, Leo. Ah. Whatever you're dealing with, it's like... It's not even like they don't know with the King of Pentacles what they're doing. Like, they do it on purpose. I mean, it's not an Earth sign. It's somebody with a lot of Earth, or they are just acting that part. But it's like there's somebody who does it on purpose every time they get a chance to. Which is like a really dickish person, you know? Alright. Sagittarius. This is your turn, which I'm excited for because I'm Sag Rising. So. Let's see what's going on with your shadow this week, my loves. Who are you catching? <laughs> Who are you catching in their bullshit, huh? Because that was pretty quick. Let's see. Sagittarius. Oh, God. You guys are administering some sweet, sweet justice on that ass. Mm. Let's see. Uh, this is almost still like the same meaning to me. Even with the after deck. Like this person celebrating like they have a reason to celebrate. Oh, Lord, Sag, did you go too far on somebody? Oh, God damn it. And here I was getting all excited and shit, too. Oh, well. Let's see what the next card is. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. 
<laughs> Never mind. You want sweet justice on like a fucking cheater. He's still going around looking for bitches. Um, causing more and more in the breakup, right? They may be the ones trying to drive you away a little bit, Sagittarius, and they're acting like they're victorious, but in reality, they're kind of panicking, being like, oh, fuck, what the fuck did I do? Yay! I, I, I defeated Sag! What am I gonna do? Oh, shit. You know, like, one of those things, like, they won't show anything but a victory. Like, they're too stuck in their own fucking pride and shit. Like, they shoved the balloon up their chest, put a helium tube up there, and blew it up so their chest looks big and proud. Oh yeah, you want justice for some fucking secrets coming out. Like, and those things in the water and in the ground, like those dogs, they're like wanting to guard that shit, and you're just coming up like, nah, it's time. <laughs> Yeah, this person who possibly drove you away, they just flopped their fish all up. And I feel like you ran away to something that's more familiar and safe for you, Sagittarius. Listen to this inspirational music in the background, like, fuck. Isn't that nice? Mmm. Someone's it doing sneak. Doesn't it though? Alright, so this person who's got the secret Sagittarius, like, they don't realize you're walking into a trap. You're doing one of those things where you're probably gonna corner a person and then just start yelling excessively until they like, give it up. Um. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah! Uh, I'd say so. You're just letting this shit go. You're giving your swords to God and like, or whatever, you're letting it go to whatever, and letting yourself heal that way. Just letting that shit go completely. That way you can sit purposefully and postured like, you got a lizard who's just like, I protect this thing. This is my happy place now. It's tiny. It's not a dick like you are, you know, like you're, you're doing one of those things. Um, let's see, during your week, like, definitely justice over some secrets that someone was laying, and you're laying a trap for them to walk through as soon as they touch it. And I feel like as soon as they do fall into that trap that they aren't paying attention to, that's gonna lift all the swords away, and definitely gonna heal, help you, um, deal with whatever it was that was bothering you about this third party. Where someone kind of ran away to, like, comfort themselves and left the other one having to, like, dump this cloud with a cup. Just being like, you know what? No. No. This one is bullshit, too. They're all fucking bullshit. <laughs> the person you're dealing with probably feels... Oh, mind you, crosswatcher swatch re switch where you need to, right? But it looks like this person, Sagittarius, is still, like, lifting their sword up like they feel like they have a victory. But that's only to cover up the fact that, like, you know, they fucked it up. Um, flopping their fish around, and now they got people coming out of the woodworks being like, Hey, um, what you're doing? It's not bright, man. It's not bright in the slightest, you know? But, it does help you get your head on the street and make you realize some shit, which is like, Hmm, I really don't need this shit. Because, once again, bad karma. Things don't work out because of this bad karma when it, in regards to having a door open or even a marriage. Uh, too much toxicity in that shit, Sag. And you want to start something new anyway. Like, it, it, at this point, it's just a responsibility for you. At this point, it's just like, how much time do I have to nurture this shit before, like, I feel like I get some justice in this? Definitely could be Leo, you're, or not a Leo, a Libra you're involved with. <clears throat> Yeah, you just decide to run because it isn't working your way. Uh, because cause somebody keeps doing sneaky shit. Right? Right. Fire signs, that's the end of your reading. Yay. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, you can give me a like, share, you can even subscribe if that's what you want to do. No pressure, of course, that's up to you. But I will see you guys later. Enjoy your week. Bye-bye.